Hey everybody, what's going on? Burkcrown88 coming in the YouTube video, and today we've got content, right? It's Friday, we got new cards, what do we got? Are we going to get our transaction cards? Are we going to get some form of primetime cards from performers through the week? What are we going to get? Let's look at Hot Rush, let's look at objectives, and let's look at the new MSPs. I can't wait to check out how, uh, how they turn this around. I can't wait to see what we've got, because the first week was very underwhelming. And uh, I just hope the second week is, is fantastic. If you do like it, guys, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that sub button and notification bell down below so you don't miss anything in the future. Like 80% of people watching the videos, guys, aren't subs. So if you are enjoying it, hit that sub button so you don't miss anything. Hit in the comment section down below what you thought about the, uh, the new MSPs and Hot Rush, everything we know now. Let's get into it. So first things first, we'll go to Hot Rush. We're going to dive right into Hot Rush and see exactly what, uh, what we're looking at. Is Hot Rush a weekly reset? Is it every other week? What is it? So these objectives are going to reset in six days as they normally do. They reset every week, but the reward, what do the rewards look like? And when do they reset? So hot rush is now resetting every six days. Obviously they haven't really fully brought everything in yet because it's saying that I'm still done my rewards. I'll come back to that after we look at the MSPs and the objectives and everything, because hopefully by then it'll be fixed. It's right at content release when I'm recording this video guys. So, uh, we have to see how it goes. Nothing in objectives new. It doesn't look like. So no new objectives. And then when it's look and then we're looking at the cards, we got a new Adam Fox. Let's go. Adam Fox is a great MSP because there's not too many right-handed cards. I a right-handed defenseman, so I can't wait to take a peek at that. Yandel Heatley, boys. Heatley is a big one. Chara Miller and Patrick Ilyash. And we got live moments. Live moments. Instead of prime times, maybe kind of has the same blue prime time art. So I'm going to say live moments instead of prime time. So does that mean we have live moments that you got to go do in the Matthews moment now and the Besser moment, stuff like that? We'll go check that out and see what that's got. But a couple of nice cards and transactions. Owen Power and Devontae's just signed their contracts. So transaction cards. Okay, that's that. Now for the moments, do we have live moments for like all the new ones they've just added? <laughs> we do have live moments added. That's the Giordano one. Yay. Okay, so these live moments have been added for the MSP. So now we know MSP. Uh, one is Spooner, Flurry, Fox, and Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov has size. That could be a very good card. So let's go look at the MSPs, guys. Unfortunately, we don't get live moments for the live moments cards, but that looks like live moments is going to be taking over for uh, prime time. And as for sets, they haven't updated it, so it's hard to tell because they still got uh, week one in there. So, you know. But anyway take a peek at the live moments cards first start with brock besser or bozer however you want to say it six foot one 87 speed 87 acceleration that's actually not a bad card um right way right wing sniper he's good speed good shot he had a great game so you, you you know it's a nice card for an 82 overall you could probably get your hands on him pretty cheap at 87 speed is nice and then you got philip gustafson 67 aggression for a six foot two goalie i haven't noticed height mattering that much this year so we're gonna have to wait and see when the shot comes up a little bit like when when players get their shooting accuracy up into the 90s we'll have to see if the height matters then but i haven't been picking the short side corner that often it is there but uh not as uh, not as much and it doesn't matter if the goalie's short or tall so you know maybe you can get the goalie you want rantanen Miku Rannan, an absolute massive card, six foot four with big rig and sniper forward at 87 speed, 87 acceleration with coming up into the high 80s for shooting is really nice. His hand's fantastic and his defensive awareness doesn't hurt you. So 85 overall, this card could be very good. And then the man, the man that gets a hattie on opening night, does he have a card on the auction house? And no, he does not. <laughs> like I said, it's very close, very close to the launch of the uh, event so these cards probably haven't been pulled in packs yet or if they have they haven't been listed but he has unstoppable force which is amazing actually that is unbelievable six foot three body with sniper forward and shooting boost with snipe 87 speed 87 acceleration this card will probably be one that i try to go chase depending on the price of them i'll sell his 85 and i'll put this uh, 86 on the squad and then we got Devontae's always a always a fast card and 87 speed for an 83 is nice. You can get an 83 for relatively cheap right now. And at 87 speed, it's not going to hurt you. Owen Powers, six foot six. 85 speed's a little slow for that six foot six frame, but that six foot six frame is going to be a beast out there. Hard to walk around. So his speed is slow, but it won't kill you because, you know, you got to take an extra stride to get around him anyways. Big guy. 
I like this card. Now, before we get into the new MSPs, guys, I just want to say the transactions is fun. I like it, you know, as long as it keeps providing cards all year long because transactions is a little bit out of EA's control. And then the live moments, I like that as well. And, and you know, it's a change up from prime time. Live moments, Matthews, Besser, all those guys had great games and they, they, they show that off right away. So I like that. And then now, when we get into the week two of MSPs, Mark Andre Fleury, a goalie that usually gets an MSP card. Uh, this might be a little early for him, but uh, you know, 86 Mark Andre Fleury. We don't build goalies around here. I, I don't recommend it. Chasing the goalies is expensive and and never really recommended because height. You know, you could get an 82 overall Markstrom to play this just as good as this 86 Mark Andre Fleury. Until I see something else, I'm not gonna go crazy on a goalie. So I would probably pass on Mark Andre Fleury, but uh, you know. Post to post, butterfly effect, speed boost, defensive boost. This card's very good. Adam Fox. Not a lot of right-handed defensemen out there at this time. So getting an Adam Fox card is nice. Offensive defenseman and playmaking boost could help you out with your synergies, which I've been, I've been struggling to get some synergies activated this year. Stick him up and gold lead edges with 89 speed and 90 acceleration, guys. That's at his 82. When you bring him up to his 86, you got, you got 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 defensive awareness, and 90 stick checking. This card is actually pretty gross, and uh, I like it. But this Kuznetsov card, taking a quick peek at that, six foot two. This, this card's definitely the best card in the event. It's probably one of the best cards out there right now from 86 to 87. You know, I don't want to include the, uh, the Mario Lemieux because that puts this card down, but unstoppable force and wheels with playmaking forward and angle dangler. Okay. With 91 speed, 91 acceleration, good shooting, great hands, great defense. Face offs 82. It's a little low, but you're going to play him on the wing anyways. That's a crazy card. Probably the card I'd recommend building. Natalie Spooner, five foot 10, unstoppable force, close quarters. That's a fantastic combo. 87 acceleration 84 speed but when you get her up to an 86 86 speed 89 acceleration i probably would pass on this card if i'm going to be honest with you the shot's not there the hands are okay the, the synergies are, the abilities are fantastic but the speed is going to kill this card and then we got the 82 overall six foot four danny heatley card 91 speed 88 acceleration this looks like it could be a fun card Looks like it could be a very fun card. But there was another card added that could be a little bit of a pain. And that's six foot nine, 83 overalls, the Dano Charo with 85 speed. <sighs> this card could be, uh, this card is gonna be around and it's gonna be a pain to play against. But welcome to Dano Charo, six foot nine defender with 85 speed. I can't wait to see you out there. And I told you I'd go back and check, guys. Hut Rush still hasn't shown the rewards, so we're gonna have to. And I told you I'd go back and check, guys. Hut Rush still hasn't showed the rewards. But I'm starting to look at a couple of things around here, like Hut Rush, October 5th to October 20th. Is there a possibility we don't get any Hut Rush rewards this week? Maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe you didn't need to grind it all out in one day or two days. Maybe you had the week and, uh, you know, that'd be unfortunate, but I have to wait and see what happens. Maybe it just hasn't loaded up yet, or maybe Hut Rush is, uh, is another week. I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you do enjoy this event. I hope you're enjoying all the new cards. They all look fantastic. I like uh, I like Adam Fox. I like Kuznetsov. I like the Danny Heatley. And I love the Austin Matthews. That's going to be on my Leafs theme team immediately. And as for the Kuznetsov, for the hardcore HUD account, I'm going to try to get him. But, uh, you know, there's only one way to get him. And that's luck of the draw. And I might take my shots at it. So I, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you did enjoy the video. And until next time, guys, ciao, ciao.